need to start looking into Martin Lee. Jay's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Okay, that's all of them. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Looks like I could override the circuit. I need my electric webs. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Almost there. That's it!
guns from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? This is crazy. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. Lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this... You're gonna help me find a new job. Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style.
He's not out here. Better check inside. Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. What else can I find around here? Bases all around the city. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. Wasn't enough. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Hey, MJ. I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign office. Finally. No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Rides. <sighs> Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. <laughs> I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Did you find me? No, but I found something we should look into. This place called Pale Horse Rides. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out in the back of
Copy, Silverbird. We're descending to location. There's another one. Safety's off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things! Down! Down! Code SM-1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM-1. Code SM-1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM-1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Sorry about that Sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. It might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it.
You want me to call Mrs. Morales first? I'll be fine. I suspect she'll be relieved to talk to someone who's been there. Let me know if you hear from Mr. Lee, okay? I will. I do worry about that man. He works so hard, it's got to be a tremendous strain. Glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. May said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe in here. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Huh. Never seen that room before. Voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Lee's journal. I wonder where the lock is. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Looks like this note is for May. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. I see. Yes. Whoa. Hmm. 
What are you hiding, Lee? He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. Oscorp lost a lawsuit about improper clinical trials years ago. Did they cover this up? I've never heard of it. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Yeah. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. Get out of here. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. You get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. At an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done.
Wait, wait, wait! I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. See ya. Dinner. <sighs> what should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by just for a minute. Attention agents in Hudson Town. Command wants an update. Another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple cross, Doc. He's turning into a war zone. Check the plating on the APC. Next time, let on hand. Sorry, guys. Kinda gotta see something, do something code. Uh, the look of appreciation. 
constipation on the sable guys is all the reward I need. Or is that constipation? Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Wonder if I could 3D print a web shooter. Can't believe I've never tried that. on limb replacement, connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead we gave people something they've never seen? Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with and instead unleash the awesome power of our minds. Hmm, what was Doc working on with this? Great conductivity. Not sure about long-term wear and tear, though. Might delaminate easily. Doc was testing the biocompatibility of graphene.
Not great. Pretty high cytotoxicity. Not sure I'd use this as tissue interface. tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility.
Decent candidate for a direct tissue interface, but I feel like we can do better. Hmm, graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this? Awesome! It's been nano-latticed. Wow, that's strong. Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic. Doc's messing around with superconductors. Thank you. 
Very cool. Complex oxide ceramic. Perfect type 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Some kind of polymer. This is awesome. A self-healing polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. Damn it! Why do I keep repeating the same mistake over and over? Norman Osborne cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Someday I'll turn the tables. I'll teach Norman what it is to feel helpless and small. Doc must have more history with Norman than he shared. Lots of late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Huh. <laughs> Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Gonna miss that humorless grimace.
Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Showed up with stains on my shirt, ten minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. Hope he doesn't regret it now. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth. To finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? We did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Advanced idea mechanics. Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. Cool. Logic controller for the micro cables Doc's been theorizing. These things are awesome. So much more versatile than traditional fixed axis designs. Simple AI that'll improve the prosthetics functionality over time. Welcome to the future. Prosthetic has a tiny brain. Cool. And a little creepy. Doc dove right in with the intracranial interface.
revolutionary, but not a hundred percent stable. We need to refine this design. What's that? What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ah, kidding, of course. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bits to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract, and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes. But essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have failed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to. You know, the micro cables we use to simulate musculature could easily be arranged into simple shapes. Wrenches, hammers, a toolbox literally at your fingertips. I don't know if I'm comfortable with some of these funding sources. All science is built on risk. Better to embrace it than run from it. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. I guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. All units, witness reported an active narcotic sale. Officers needed in Tenderloin. Please copy.
Fisk did keep these wannabe pushers in check. Wait a minute, what's that feeling? Do I miss him? <laughs> no. Did I hurt you guys? Good news. The police are coming to protect you. not good for anybody. Hey, can we solve this peacefully if I brought you cupcakes? No, I can stop it. Quiet, hit Another day, another dozen crazy dudes in masks sent to prison. Oh man, oh man. Sorry, I'm usually web swinging. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. or something. Dudes are way too high strung. You are not going to believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen.
This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. I need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. We built this war beast for Lee. Yo, he Rick. finances the boss, boss's what the fuck? Get in here. Need to get into that office. Well, you better clean your slag off that sloppy well. If boss sees that, he'll be pissed. Grave dust, man. Oh, the what are they is building? Straight into grave dust. Is this all for Lee? You tried any yet? Only samples. The boss is still perfecting the recipe. Man. This guy's sick. Everything okay. Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Anyone seen the 316 socket driver? being so intense about putting GPS trackers on everything. Protecting trade secrets. Doesn't want any word on grave dust leaking out. Still, Bill's paranoid. Who asked you? Get back to work. We gotta pick up some more supplies. Not till we toss the empties. Boss wants them lost in a Jersey swamp by next week. Grave dust is pretty under the table, I guess. Yeah. Those barrels table. seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? What's in these? Boss, come on! We'll never know this! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. Uh, won't notice? Because uh, it won't be there. Uh, God damn it! I said I'll fix it! Uh, uh, you got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. a disappointment.
Now I need a new welder. Blueprints. An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be something else in this office. Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never going to let me live that one down, are you? Nope. The Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking... What if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? What, like, a uh, spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh! Oscorp CFO! Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just... a couch is fine. <laughs> yeah. See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. 
So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners? Uh, sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. Police look like they could use some help. Thanks for the assist, Spider-Man. Someone radio dispatch. We need a wagon. There's probably more of them inside. You guys stay here. Somebody was in a hurry. Spider-Man! You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. So glad you're here. I can't find my car. Could've sworn I parked on this level.
You guys work here too? This building is serious about parking enforcement. Good fight. A for effort. The elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. Steve, you're with you. Okay, almost there. Stay out of the light. Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out. Keep it off.
Need to clear the room before I talk to Standish. Okay, all clear. Hope Standish is all right. Let's try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information on a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <gasps> Okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. Hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius' lab. Let you know what I find on Delaney.
34. Demons have opened fire. Multiple officers down. Any officers near Midtown North, please copy. Message from Doc. Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really given it both barrels. Hope he doesn't burn himself out. No, but if you ask nicely. Just got a call about a suspicious looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project. Yeah, I know. Budget crisis, yada, yada, yada. So? Uh, will you please check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. School projects are so much easier than real life projects. Doing a little nighttime bird watching? Well, I was watching for nocturnal raptors in the park when I noticed a bunch of men armed with rifles over at Belvedere Castle. Thanks for the heads up, Miss, uh... Stephanie, let me know if I can help. I'll keep an eye on the activities from up here. Thanks for the assist, Stephanie. Why would armed men be at Belvedere Castle? Got a hunch they're not tourists. Fisks, man. This isn't good. Stamp. I literally didn't see that coming. That's all of them. Let's find out what they were up to. Not sure what's going on here. I wonder if there's any info I can get from this flash drive. Awesome. Stephanie, a bird just stole a flash drive full of evidence. Maybe a pigeon. Is that normal? It is nesting season, so I'm not surprised. You know, I think there's a nest in the trees just southeast of the castle. Great. I'll check it out. We've got buddies. Great. Come back with that flash drive, you dirty sky rats! Try positive reinforcement. You know, pigeons are actually remarkably intelligent. Remarkably intelligent, huh? Uh, hey, pigeons! Sorry about the dirty sky rats thing. Maybe we can make a deal? Whatever Fisk is paying you in birdseed, I'll double it! Doesn't have the drive. Over here. Fuck this. 
This is it. I've got the drive. Back to the laptop to see what Fisk's men were up to. Looks like they were uploading a worm to the Central Park Wi-Fi system. This could give them backdoor access to a ton of personal data. Come to think of it, even I use this network. Wait, it's still uploading remotely. There must be multiple access points. Stephanie, you're my eyes in the sky. See anything else strange in the park? Uh, I see a pair of horned owls and... Oh, more guys at a nearby junction box. Thanks. Keep a lookout for anything else. I need to get to that junction box before the upload completes. If they can't access the laptop, they can't upload. You're fine! Thanks for the heads up. I better get moving. Two more? I never thought I'd say this, but why does Central Park need such strong Wi-Fi coverage? A lot of people came here to get away. There they are. I need to keep them away from that box. People of Manhattan can rest easy knowing that their passwords and cat videos are safe. Spider-Man? I think they might have seen me. Oh no. Are you sure? Uh, pretty sure. Armed men just arrived. Lock the roof entrance and hold tight. I'm on my way. We need to get to Stephanie before Fisk's men do. She wouldn't be involved if it weren't for me. They're trying to break down the door. We know you're working with the spider. Open up! Nearly there. Split up and find the girl with the binoculars. Anyone? Spider-Man! Take him out! And toss the girl over the edge! Get down here and fight like a man! We can't let him beat us! Check on Stephanie. Oh, thank you, Spider-Man. That was a little more exciting than my average night of birding. 
Hey, thank you. Your eagle eye stopped an incarcerated crime boss from harvesting half the city's personal data. Not too shabby, huh? Plus, I found a nest of red-breasted nuthatches when you triple kicked that guy in the face. Real beauties, too. You want to check them out? Thanks, but uh, I think I'll focus on jailbirds for now. Well, hello everyone, Resident Steel Shadow here, and uh, I got done with my another two hour no talking Spider Man stream. Um, I'm gonna probably do another one. I've been getting into the Spider Man mood lately since I've been watching the old 90s animated series, uh, you know, uh, where Mark Hamill was a hobgoblin, so that's uh, pretty cool. Um, plus, uh, since now that I heard that Spider-Man Miles Morales is going to be the, the next Spider-Man game, but for PlayStation 5, that kind of got me all hyped up and, and stuff. So, uh, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this on my, uh, my YouTube. I did post my last video because I just kind of got around to it, but I will. Uh, so... Jesus. Anyway, so yeah, catch catch me on the next stream. Um, like I said, my last video, uh, my last stream. Uh, I was going to do a Gears of War uh, marathon to kind of get myself prepared for the next Gears game. It hasn't been released just yet, not even a trailer, but, uh, you know, when it, when it does, I can be prepared for it. So, um, yeah, I'm also going to have the links of, the, of my friend's channels in, in my, uh, in in my stream uh, video when it's posted on YouTube. Check them out. Uh, you can check out my channel on YouTube, uh, Resnick Stealth Shadow. Um, but yeah, I also have like some other videos on there, like Ghost Recon, Division, some WWE, some Kingdom Hearts, some... Oh Jesus, I'm getting wrecked. That's understandable. Uh, um, I have some other videos, so go ahead and give them, check them out. Um, yeah. So, I'll catch you all later. <laughs>